goes. Da 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 So my trail NASA built it about three or four years ago and I started building it because a lot of the stuff around here doesn't really relate to Europe or big downhill races across the world. Our tracks are pretty flat, high speed and really smooth. You go over there, it's steep, you're bottoming out your suspension the whole way down. It's rough on the body and you're pretty much uncomfortable the whole way. So I try to replicate, when I was building this track I had Valdesol in mind, just steep, loose, rocky launching over boulders, massive bomb holes. So I built this trail with hopes of trying to have something that would prep us for going over to Europe. And at first it was kind of dry, soft, wasn't like super rideable. But after the course of like three years of rains and summer and everything, it's pretty compact now. And honestly, it's such a fun racetrack. Everyone I brought there from Aaron Gwynn to Charlie Harris and they all love it. So it's a pretty like well-liked trail now. We keep it pretty top secret though. Not a lot of people know about it, but um, the people who do ride it have a lot of fun, so it's cool to have a trail that brings people there and just kind of gets people stoked on bikes again. But yeah, the main thing was to try to replicate something from Europe. So when you go over to Europe, the first thing you kind of notice is there's just, it's taped wide, there's lines everywhere. You don't even know really where to start or to look. So I wanted to have something that had different line choice and it's pretty hard when there's the terrains like all the same out here in SoCal. So I just try to cut the track as wide as possible, have multiple lines, multiple options in between, getting into sections, leaving sections. So um, the main thing is line choice and then obviously steepness. I wanted to have something that was steep so you could get your bike set up because a lot of the time you get your bike set up here, then you go over to Europe and it just feels way too low. So um, just kind of getting bike set up and line choice was something I had in mind when I was building the track. A lot of our trails we've been riding for, you know, some of us 10 plus years. So you get to a point where you're kind of just on autopilot and the trails don't necessarily prep you for races. So um, a lot of us do go out and try to mimic sections we'll race on, on our current trails, but starting from scratch and building a whole new trail usually is the best when you're trying to prep for races and kind of build something that's gonna um, get you prepped for Europe. So um, they're really, we've, we've all come together and built a trail before, but um, it's just hard when you know, you're know you gone all season, you come back and the trail you built overgrown or rutted out or completely destroyed. So if you're not on top of it and you have a big crew to dig with, it's hard to keep kind of a race style trail running. My goals for the upcoming season are pretty different to other years. I'm gonna be doing a full season of Enduro World Series and Downhill World Cups, mixed in with all our American downhill Enduro slalom races. So it's a big mix of training and racing and just a big bulk year. So um, the goals for that is just to have fun with it all and uh, try to do well in both events, both disciplines. It's a uh, 
they're a lot different in terms of prep and training. So um, it's pretty hard to do well in both because you got to be peaking different times of the year. But I'm pretty excited for it. And my goals are just to be top. If I could be top 30 in downhill and enduro internationally, I'd be pretty stoked. So uh, it's, a, it's a huge task, but uh, I'm ready for it. I try to jam pack my days. And like today, for instance, I woke up, went to the gym, and then went and dug all all morning into afternoon and then went and rode in the afternoon. So I just try to at least get three activities a day, even if it's, if it's for training or for fun or just trying to get the most out of the day. Um, in the winter time, it sucks. I think it's dark at 4.35, but if you get up early, you can get a ton of stuff done. That's kind of what I do every day, just get the training out of the way and then go have fun the rest of the day and ride and dig and try out some new lines. Get a breeze on your skin, nothing else will be. Na -na -na. It's not pocket full of sunshine. It's called unwritten. No one else. If I'm having a bad day and that song comes on, on Spotify, you have to smile. <laughs>